We are at a very crucial moment in Europe at the moment. We need to bring back the Union to Europe. What we are creating is an energy union and there is the vision to have a common uh, unified energy market uh, among all member states and uh, regional cooperation is one of the key issues for that. So we need to integrate the different member states but also the different regions in the member states in Europe in one joint market. And what does that mean? And uh, this is what we are exploring. And uh, the Heinrich Böll Foundation and the World Future Council joined forces to give some meaning to that concept. I know that um, we don't all have the same understanding of what regional cooperation means. Um, I think at the moment with the Energy Union, a lot of emphasis is put on regional cooperation in the sense of cross-border enhanced interconnectors for electricity and gas systems. Um, I would like to see it um, more um, understood as um, indeed uh, at a lower scale, at more of a city level of um, indeed municipalities learning from one another. How uh, are, we have a, a lot of uh, local projects and regional projects and we have the big issue about uh, energy transition and the energy union, but how can uh, the, the lower uh, projects, all individual projects, uh, work on that main topic of uh, 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 energy and transition. We decided to go on a study tour to travel in five days from Copenhagen to Brussels, explore different projects, but also meet the people who are actually implementing regional cooperation, cross-border cooperation in uh, different countries. The cooperation between ambitious, proactive, people willing to change the energy sector in the sustainable way from the decision makers to general public is needed to put the words into actions. The people behind of this, the people who are starting these projects, who have been thinking about it, who have put a lot of time and energy and personal investment into it. And that's what we wanted to show to others. We have read about these projects before, we have learned about them, we have um, conducted a study on this issue and we thought now it's really time to get to dig deeper and to get to know these people on the ground. And that we didn't want to do alone, but we wanted to take people to these regions and to develop a network. We have to think about strategies to actually facilitate this uh, dialogue and push actors to work together, act and not just talk. I think the European framework is trying to do what they can to foster cooperation. Although at the national level, I think there could be more done because there we have more than a national reflex and it's a question about how Europe can try to convince the national governments in order to cooperate uh, into larger perspective. The target as it is requires cooperation among countries and uh, although it's very important, I don't think we can force down countries and, and regions to cooperate. You, you need to create the, the, the tools, you need to create incentives uh, and you need to tell people that they can and there are good learnings they can do across borders and, and facilitate those projects. How does the local dimension play out in the energy union governance system that is being um, discussed and designed at the moment? It's very crucial that you have policy makers at different levels uh, to make this happen and really um, they need to show the willingness to make this happen. You have to um, get policy and companies and citizens uh, to um, get involved together and to enter in dialogue uh, to really uh, achieve something. Um, and as a, as a French citizen, I really uh, feel that um, for that, democracy, strong democracy and transparency features are needed. We have heard it also from the deputy mayor of Sunderburg that cities or local politicians 
do not necessarily need to ask for more, but at least they should occupy the political space more. I think that the, the most important for uh, the Polish na nation now is uh, how to engage local communities in the way to a better uh, uh, future with renewables. Uh, if you think about uh, Southern Europe, we face the same uh, problems. Uh, Greece, Spain, Portugal, just to name uh, three. Uh, we're facing uh, uh, terrible economical problems, social problems, uh, and we're not sustainable as a, as a country in terms of energy production. And there's a lot of knowledge that could be shared among these countries, uh, and I would like to particularly focus uh, on sharing knowledge between uh, citizens and cooperatives uh, for renewable energy cooperation. But I think the tour clearly showed that um, the sustainable development is already a business model and the technologies are all there, it just needs to be done. And um, I think the next step is that we show people the good examples that are already out there so that they're motivated to also take action and bring change. And I think this, this is a great, uh, a great proof for what carbon-free economy can, uh, can mean.